Hello, Angela myritz fried here, Stamping Up Demonstrator based in Christchurch, New Zealand. Today I'm sharing with you these cards I created for the Demonstrator Training Program blog hop that I'm doing with um, Kylie and Bruno Petucci. So for these cards, the um, background, uh, I've used the ombre bags, that's how I've got one in each colour. And the main stamp set I've used is the Daisy Garden, that's given that beautiful background stamp there, and the Bigger Swish stamp set for the thanks. So we get started, and I find with a big stamp like that, it's easier to use my Stamparata, so I've got that already set up and I've worked out where I want it to go on that piece of um, bag and I'm just going to use my embossing buddy to rub that over there and then I'm just going to use my Versamark and get that all over the stamp make sure it's well covered and sometimes I've been a bit um, exuberant with that it does go on the edges so I'll just make sure I haven't got it on there can brush it off after if it does happen to get on and then just pop that on there and then just firmly sometimes what I do too just to make sure that I've got good coverage is use my um, and just go over it the good thing with using a stamparatus is if you miss any spots you can pop it back on that looks okay so I'll just pull that gently back and that is the only thing, it is quite a lot um, to get covered. I managed to get it everywhere sometimes, but that's okay. This is why this tray is, or this container is good to get it back into. So I just um, work my way around the image. Just make sure I get it covered. okay I'll just give it a bit of a tap just to make sure and then also what I'm going to do there is a bit of powder that's just doesn't seem to want to flick off so an old brush is good for that and this little bit of a blow helps that looks okay so not so much down there so I'll just put a tiny bit more and that bit there Okay, and then sorry, this is just this is the longest bit really. Right, um, I think that's okay. If you want to check, just angle it and make sure that it's you've got it covered. Just a wee spot there. I think that's okay. Right, so um, we've stamped that. Now we want to do is trim it down to the size. Here. So, so I've made that about um, 10 centimetres wide by 14.4. So just trim off that, make that 14.4 along the bottom. And for, um, want it to be 10 centimetres wide, so I just have to trim off a little bit side here so, take that in there bring it back and probably straight trim that off there and then turn it round and take it to the 10 centimeter mark trim that all off there and then what I've done is want to adhere it onto a panel and I've already created this it's just a piece of white uh, the basic white cardstock and then I've added some old card to the back just to give it a bit of a lift and just pop some glue over that and 
and not sure which is the easiest way but I'll try this way so it's fairly tight it's a couple of millimeters smaller it's okay and then what I'm going to do is just place one of my large blocks on it just so that it will um, just flatten it down reasonably well and then I've got my um, card base. I'm just going to hold that half ready. Burnish the fold. And then I can get the um, thanks ready. So I've already got a um, bit of basic white cardstock um, already cut up. And this is five. 0.5 centimeters by 2.2 and the reason I've pre-cut it is because I'm using this bank stamp which is a photopolymer so I can see straight through it I'm just going to stamp that on and I've managed to oh here it is lose my crossing buddy so if I just get up on top of that over that so that I can see stamp that reasonably straight it is a fairly forgiving um, stamp I think that doesn't matter if it's not totally straight and it's again a little one bit of embossing the gold embossing powder but it is losing its um, it's not working so well I did try to get one the other day but didn't have any another um, thing is to use at the end of your uh, take your pick tool just just to even move it off and then give it a half does sort of help Oops, oh, that was helpful, wasn't it? All right, I think that's okay, and I'll just heat that up. And then I'm just going to adhere that onto um, a piece of the Fresh Fraser cardstock. And it's a couple of millimetres um, larger, just so we can get that little frame around it. Sometimes what I do, if I, there is a little bit of... Um, Emboss powder going over the edge. Just use some dots from the um, this is the stamp and chalk marker and just dot them over from a distance. Nobody else will see it. I don't think they'll be looking. But I just like to do that just to tidy up the, the sentiment a little bit. Right, so now what we can do is adhere this to here. So I'm just add more glue to that panel. Make sure it's nice and straight. And you've got your card opening the right way. Yes. And then I'll just pop that back on there for a few moments. And um, then I have got um, about 30 centimetres of the gold trim from the Simply Elegant. Just tie a bow with that. Just to keep it in place, give it a really good taut. It's not really in the middle, is it? Try that again.
take I can trim it up and that's not too bad. That will work. So we fiddle around with that in a minute when I'm ready to pop that on. So I think that should be okay. So roughly work out where you want your bow to be. And I find glue dots are great for this. Just pop that down there. And you can sort of play around with where you want everything to go. And even um, sometimes I'll add some more glue dots just to make sure I get get it sticking where I want, but that's not too bad. And then I want to put some dimensionals. Just put one here and one here. Let's see the side of that knot. Just line that up there. And line that edge up. Okay. Pop that down. And then if you wanted to make these ends a little bit shorter, you could do that. Just um, that one's got a mind of its own, but that's okay. And then I've just added some of the gold pearls, put them in metallic pearls, and just pop three of those on there, just in my typical triangular pattern. You could add more if you wanted. Um, there is already quite a lot of gold on that card. So as you can see, it's a really quick and simple um, card to create. And I think quite effective with all that gold. It looks very um, elegant. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed watching me create that card. And I look forward to seeing some of your creations. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Bye.